Hey YouTube, right behind me is the grave of Fireball Roberts, a uh, NASCAR driver who unfortunately uh, died in a um, very tragic accident while racing. We'll go over his story and we'll visit his grave. Edward Glenn Fireball Roberts was born on January 20th, 1929 in Florida. At a young age, he was interested in both auto racing and baseball. He was a pitcher for the Zellwood Mud Hens and earned his nickname Fireball because of his fastball. He raced on dirt tracks while in college and in 1947, he raced on his first Daytona beach course. The next year, he won a 150-mile race at Daytona Beach. As NASCAR was moving from short dirt tracks to super speedways, Fireball Roberts continued to win races. He won the Daytona 500 and the Firecracker 250 in 1962. May 24, 1964 was the date of the World 600, now known as the Coca-Cola 600. This event took place at the Charlotte Motor Speedway in Charlotte, North Carolina. On lap seven, Ned Jarrett and Junior Johnson collided and spun out in turn two and into the backstretch. Jarrett's car spun and hit the inside wall on the backstretch and the sparks from dragging against the wall set his car on fire. Roberts tried to avoid the wrecked cars of Jarrett and Johnson but could not and he spun into Jarrett's car, causing his car to also burst into flames. At this time, Robert's car was upside down and burning, and he was trying to climb out. Ned Jarrett ran over and helped pull him out. Robert suffered second and third degree burns over 80% of his body, and he was airlifted to the hospital in critical condition. There was some hope that Roberts would recover, but six weeks later, on July 2nd, 1964, Roberts died from his injuries after developing pneumonia and sepsis. He was only 35 years old. And we are coming up on the grave of Fireball Roberts. He's located in a mausoleum outside of uh, the Daytona Memorial Cemetery. And you can see right here, Glenn Fireball Roberts, January 20th, 1929 to July 2nd, 1964. In his 15 year career, he had 33 wins, 122 top tens and 32 poles. He was named one of NASCAR's uh, 50 greatest drivers. He was inducted into the Stock Car Racing Hall of Fame in 1965 the International Motor Sports Hall of Fame in 1990, the Motor Sports Hall of Fame of America in 1995, and of course the NASCAR Hall of Fame in 2013. Uh, he was only 35 years old at the time of his death. He did not win a championship, but he's been basically named like one of the best uh, NASCAR drivers who, uh, who was never won um, a championship. His racing career obviously was cut short um, by a terrible accident. Uh, he was he was severely burned and um, you know lingered on for a, a few days or a few weeks. Unfortunately he did pass away from his injuries. And you can see it says here, he, he brought to Star Car Racing a freshness, distinction, a championship quality that surpassed the rewards collected by the checkered flag. And then they list some of his accomplishments right here. Okay, gang. Um, I'm gonna, gonna call it right here, but um, I appreciate everyone watching. And uh, until the next one, thank you.